What is up, my beautiful Pisces people? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Welcome to your energy update. It's a rainy day here in Florida, my part of Florida here, Tampa specifically. And um, let's see, let's see what's happening for you, Pisces. So there is a message that I thought about um, before I hopped on this video and I feel like a lot of you are getting better at not judging your process, what happens to you, right? Like, let's say something happens to you. Oh, you make a big fuss and big deal out of it. Like, you know, and, and have all these emotions. Now you guys are really like things happen and it's almost like there's like no reaction, which is in a way good because that's the gift of neutrality. I'm thinking of a card here that's coming to mind. So let's see here. I want to first get a couple cards and see here what you're doing well, what you're doing well at this time. And these are like chakra energy cards. What are, what are you doing well? Okay, what does Spirit want to thank you and congratulate you on? What are you doing well? What is Pisces? What's Pisces doing well? Let's get here a spiritual check-in. Just want to look at that. Meditation, a lot of you are learning to quiet the mind, okay? And keep your grounding practices, whether that be, you know, meditation is so many things. It's it's maybe through doing, through painting, through um, working out, right? I mean, being able to quiet that mind, play, play. I feel like um, a lot of you are learning to bring, have realized that you need to bring more fun because you've been too serious for a long time. Communication, inner child. Okay, so I feel here like you've been doing a good job of nurturing your inner child at this time throughout all these um, hectic things and realizing that it's a give and take with yourself, right? It's not like you know, you, you just feel bad for yourself all the time and critique yourself, right? You have to also give yourself some love, let yourself play. And I feel here like you're really learning to develop, to negotiate with your inner child, right? To heal those wounds, to understand it better. And therefore you're developing psychic abilities here. I want to clarify this play. Let's get one more of these. What is this play? What is Pisces doing well? Play. What is this? Mother Earth, Mother Earth. So for some of you, you could, I'm getting, you need to bring more play into your life if you're not doing that, but um, because that's what's gonna bring that creativity in, right? If some of you have been lacking inspiration and creativity and feel like, you know, what is this communication? What's this communication? Telepathic communication at that, because look at these, these people are communicating telepathically. <clears throat> dreams dreams okay yeah i feel that it's almost like you've been co-creating with mother earth with the universe right and you've been telepathically in your energy you've been transmitting the energy of your dreams of what you want here and i feel here that part of your intrinsic desire is to just like have more fun in your life, right? Like how do you incorporate that? But yeah, there's a lot of inner child healing here. And I feel that the way to let these manifestations that you've been communicating to the universe and, and, and co-creating is now detach and play, right? Get yourself in the vibration of abundance, of fun, of creativity. That's what's going to allow all these things to trickle in for you. I like that. So what does Pisces need to, what is, what is Pisces, what is something Pisces needs to work on that's been rebirth and psychic development? We saw the psychic card here, development, and wanted to show itself, but I feel here that spirit wants you to really give some time Continue to nurture this rebirth, okay? This isn't always going to be a time where you're going to feel down or uninspired or like you're not winning, okay? This is a process you're going through. You are you are going to win very much, right? Like, but you just have to continue. And one of the ways that you're going to win and is I feel that some of you need to align to your gifts. Like, there's a lot of new energy coming in. I want you to be open to the fact that Yes, you're going to receive these gifts and you're going to maybe be able to do things. Um, and I'm, and you know, I might be thinking a little bit, I'm not thinking far fetched, but I feel like some things are going to develop for you. You're going to see spiritually, like, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, there's a possibility here for you to really develop your gifts and actually be able to do some, some very interesting things here. Okay. And, 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 and that's part of your purpose, right? So, 
it's like you need to let go of all these childhood things these blockages because it's really what's coming in what's wanting to come in here is like a whole level of a whole different level it's like your star seed that's finally you know you've been shedding these layers and ready to come into your mission here i'm seeing so many things that i can't verbalize on the psychic development and, and rebirth but focus on the psychic development okay because you're going to be able to do things that you didn't even probably imagine family Family, I feel here that some of you could get, um, is this something that you need to nurture more, right? Some of you could um, be a little drained by your family or, you know, feeling like a new, um, feeling like sometimes you just want to get away and whatnot. But there is, in part of this inner child healing, right, that has a lot to do with your family. You're healing, you're helping heal some of you your family dynamics from like way back, your ancestral type of trauma blockages, right? And it's setting you free. And that's what's allowing these major gifts to come in. So I feel that it's very much linked to your family, <coughs> your lineage, your, you're healing something here. And then we have determination. So it's like, you're determined to help, you know, there could be another person that you're helping here that could be obviously, you know, like, challenging for you as well but i feel here like your determination is really healing them it's healing you it's healing like way back um and this is why there's such and this is almost why i feel like you're gonna get gifted with this psychic development and rebirth because you've done something good here let's get one more what else can you tell us Life purpose and clarity. Wow, upright. Yeah, I feel from all this, what's happening, from all this that's happening during this time, and a lot of it, some of us might not understand it, or we might not always understand it, um, you know, on a conscious level, but soul level, there's so much that's happening, right, with your inner child, your, like, a lot, of, and you can see maybe even your parents are, like, evolving more than ever before, and, like, you know, you see them growing too. Like, there's a lot of clearing happening, but life, purpose, and clarity. And I feel like, you know, it's like a trickling effect, right? Healing the inner child, healing your family dynamics, and, you know, bringing in the psychic development um, and rebirth is going to bring you clarity. So if some of you are like, man, I just don't know, I'm lost. Listen, feeling lost is a human condition. Everyone feels that you're not the only one, okay? So we have to keep that in mind that it's not just you, it's everyone. We're all trying to figure it out, right? But we can cause resistance, but I feel here what you're doing, this process that maybe you feel like is gonna last forever, it's not because your, your clarity is coming about your life purpose. Both of these cards up. And now one more, and then we're gonna move forward and get some advice for you. Okay. Let's get this one. Let's see. Peace and relationships. Peace and relationships. Yeah. I feel here there's a whole new cycle starting that you're not the same person. I feel here like, you know, again, healing all this and this determination is really going to bring a lot of peace into your life and it's going to bring more harmony into your relationships and connections i feel like that's been becoming very clear right like who you definitely want to um continue to nurture in your life and who you don't and who's been draining you and whatnot like all these things right maybe what you're dealing with right you know you weren't the only one dealing it with maybe your parents someone in your family ancestral right they were dealing with it and they didn't and they passed it down to you right by being the way they are by you observing them you know it's all subconscious here so i feel you're like you're breaking through all of that and i mean you are finding your life purpose. And I feel like a lot of your life purpose, right, as empaths, believe it or not, we get caught up in the job and think, oh, my life purpose is to be number one at work. No, but I feel you're like, this is more actually efficient and productive. You are healing relationships and blockages that go way back. Like this is the actual work that we need to do here on earth, right? Bring us more aligned to our life purpose. Bring peace into our life. And all this that you've been through is going to bring you an immense amount of peace. Like you're going to have clarity, which is like Pisces always wants, right? We're always searching for clarity. 
our life purpose, the light at the end of the tunnel, literally. Okay, and just peace in relationships. Like, how amazing is that? So I don't want you to uh, doubt or think that this process is happening. And, you know, you've, you've learned a lot. You'd have to admit that. And I, it, I am as certain, okay, as these cards, as I trust these cards, okay, because I do trust these cards very much. Um, I'm certain that life is going to bring you beautiful things, but you have to make sure that you're doing the work, right? And being determined to move forward in this. And I feel a last message that's coming through. A lot of you could help your family through this psychic development, through your psychic development, actually, you know, sending healing energy and whatnot. That's a way to help them. But also your psychic development is allowing your family to ascend. It's like you're that light for them. Um, that's healing a lot of inner child, all that stuff, you know, healing mother earth, um, this, that feminine energy in you, right? You being that example. So Pisces, I'm going to leave that there. That was just a spiritual check-in brief for you guys. We're uh, to be continued in a different video. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.